Large, semi-aquatic reptiles that live throughout the tropics in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia – they love places that begin with A – crocodiles have long captured the imagination of animal lovers the world over, even if dentists hate them. But some, like Andre the Giant, have grown to be far bigger than average. From Dominator to Cassius, these are the five biggest crocodiles to have ever roamed the planet. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 5. When you look at the size of that, we're not sure where this photo came from. Like many photos on the internet, it appeared out of the ether, origins unknown. Perhaps it is not but a fake, mocked up by a 14-year-old who spends too much time on his computer, but who will one day be a VFX artist on Avatar 2 when that finally releases in 2086. Uh, side note, if you're watching this video in the future when Avatar 2 has already come out, I apologize for that joke not working for you, but also comment below and let us know if Avatar 2 is any good. Or perhaps, to get back on topic, this photo is of a genuine crocodile. If so, would you look at the size of that? Nothing should be that big, as some countries aren't even that big. You don't want to get on the wrong side of that thing. If that thing got upset with Captain Hook, it wouldn't just eat his hand. While it's dubious as to whether this colossal snapping beast is real, there are some crocodiles that are really big that are definitely real, and we're gonna look at those now. So let's dive in, and let us know if you think the crocodile in that first photo is genuine or photoshopped. You can let us know by writing in the comments or via carrier pigeon. Let's move on to the star topic. You guys know we love to talk about things you send to us on a daily basis, and we will do just that. Take a look at this massive crocodile found by a group of scientists in Canada. The image has been surfing through the internet, and many people are truly amazed at the discovery. I mean, look at the size of that thing. There's not a crocodile I've seen bigger than that one. Could this be the biggest crocodile catch in history? What do you think? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic, and we will pin the comment that best explains what is being shown in this image. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Cassius the largest species of crocodile in the world is generally considered to be Crocodylus porosus, the saltwater or estuarine crocodile. In fact, this is the largest living reptile in the world by overall weight. Snake aficionados may argue that there are longer snakes, but none combine both length over 6 meters and body mass well over 1,000 kilograms to reach such large overall sizes like the saltwater crocodile can. But there are many arguments, conflicting evidence, tantalizing scars, Goals and romantic stories surrounding giant crocs. Not only do they grow to a big size, they grow to it fast. Hatchling saltwater crocodiles emerge from the egg at around 25 to 30 centimeters or one foot in length. They can easily sit on the lens of a camera weighing only 70 grams or 2.3 ounces. However, they grow rapidly and often exceed one meter or 3.3 feet in one to two years. The first 10 years of life are accompanied by rapid growth, by which time males are usually at least three meters or 9.8 feet in length. Growth slows after reaching sexual maturity around 10 to 15 years years, but typically continues for most of the animal's life, at least 60 to 70 years. Pretty much all the crocodiles we're going to be looking at today are Crocodylus porosus, or saltwater crocodiles, starting with Cassius. This Australian saltwater giant has been claimed as the largest crocodile held in captivity and was recognized by the Guinness World Records as exactly that in 2011, which was already a big year for crocodiles seeing as it was the ninth anniversary of the film Crocodile 2 Death Swamp. Despite missing his front left leg and tip of his tail due to vicious fights, Cassius is still a force to be reckoned with. He lives in Marineland, Melanesia on Green Island in Australia with his wife and children. Just kidding, he's single. He was captured in 1987 in the Finnis River in the Northern Territory after attacking boats and causing a nuisance. Cassius is 5.48 meters or 17 feet 11 inches long and is believed to be around 110 years old. He is named after Cassius Clay, the birth name of boxer Muhammad Ali, which is crazy because I had no idea Muhammad Ali was older than 110. As you might expect from the description, Cassius has developed a bit of a reputation as a troublemaker. Prior to being taken into captivity, he would regularly attack boats in the North Territory's Finis River. Maybe it's a good thing that he's finally under control. Number 3. Brutus just like Cassius, Brutus is a real big boy. And just like Cassius, he is missing a limb. 
Brutus is known to frequent the Adelaide River, Northern Territory, Australia. Brutus is missing his front leg following what is believed to have been a confrontation with a bull shark in the river's estuary. For a crocodile this big to lose to a shark, we can only imagine how big the shark must have been. Brutus is conservatively estimated at 5.6 meters or 18 feet 4 inches and weighing about a ton. The 5.5 meter crocodile pictured with a bull shark between its jaws a few days ago has made international headlines and become a reptilian celebrity. But this is not the first time the 80-year-old two-ton beast called Brutus has attracted international attention. Photographs of him lifting his two-ton frame out of the Adelaide River in Northern Territory to gnaw at some kangaroo meat during a jumping crocodile tour made headlines in 2011. He's perhaps the most famous resident of the Adelaide River and is believed to be around 80 years old. But despite being in his eighth decade of life, and despite being several years since the shark fight that robbed him of his leg, Brutus has not made emotional peace with the shark species. He still routinely brawls with sharks and attacks them, almost as if he considers them something of a personal enemy. And really, who could blame him? Number 2. Dominator his name may make him sound like a curvy redhead who you'd hire to kick you in the nether regions, but in actuality, Dominator is a famously massive crocodile. And just how big? Well, 6.1 meters or 20 feet to be precise. We say to be precise, but in reality, Dominator has never been officially measured. But he is an infamous croc, and current estimates place him up at that size, as well as a weight of over a ton. He also lives in the same area as our old friend Brutus. We hope they get together and hang out. That'd be nice, little crocodile parties. Unfortunately though, it seems like they may not get along. A video from an Australian sightseeing cruise circa 2018 shows Brutus and Dominator engaging in a brutal fight. The epic battle was seen by tourists who got more than they bargained for. They were hoping for just a gentle view of the river, but instead got to witness the fight of the century. And what were they fighting over, you ask? A pig. A dead pig was in the water and each of the crocs staked a claim. Forget the Starks and Lannisters fighting over the Iron Throne, this is the fight I care about. Number 1. Lo Long Brutus was once the largest crocodile in the world, and now he is again. But for a brief period, his title was taken by the now deceased Lo Long. At 6.17 meters, that's 20 feet 3 inches, Lo Long, an apt name, is the largest crocodile ever measured. Not even Brutus has reached his size. Weighing a whopping 2,370 pounds, that is a whole lot of crocodile. Lo Long, like pretty much all the crocodiles of the world, was a saltwater crocodile. Australian expert in all things crocodilian Dr. Adam Britton measured Lo Long in his enclosure in November 2011. Lo Long's enclosure, that is, not Dr. Britton's. In doing so, Dr. Britton officially confirmed Lo Long's colossal size, allowing him to take the title from Brutus. Maybe that's why Brutus is always beating up sharks. It's just misdirected anger intended for Lo Long. Lo Long was caught in a Bunawa Creek in the province of Agu San del Sur in the Philippines on the 13th of September 2011. He was captured with the joint cooperation of the local government unit, residents, and crocodile hunters of Palawan. The giant crocodile was hunted over a period of three weeks. Once it was found, it took around 100 people to bring him onto land. He became aggressive at several points during the capture and twice broke restraining ropes before eventually being properly secured. He is estimated to be at least 50 years old, relatively young for a crocodile. At his largest, he weighed 1,075 kilograms, or 2,370 pounds, and measured 6.17 meters, or 20 feet 3 inches, which is, to be quite frank, unnecessarily massive. Like any other giant animal with huge teeth, Lo Long has a bit of a reputation. But whereas Brutus was suspected of attacking boats, Lo Long was suspected of having eaten a fisherman. The guy in question was missing in the town of Bunawan, near where Lo Long was known to roam. The popular theory is that Lo Long may have eaten him, and Lo Long's appreciation for the taste of human flesh may not have started there. Two years earlier, the decapitated head of a 12-year-old girl was found floating in the water in the very same area. Had Lo Long eaten her? I'm finally starting to understand Captain Hook's fear. Lo Long was also the primary suspect in the constant disappearances of seahorses in the area. And not to sound rude, but I think the death of a little girl is a bit more worrying, but hey. In the examination of Lo Long's stomach contents after his capture, remnants of water buffaloes reported missing before Lo Long's capture were found, but no human remains, so we cannot be entirely sure. This crocodile was named after Ernesto Lo Long Goloran Cañete, one of the veteran crocodile hunters from the Palawan Crocodile and Wildlife Reservation Center who led the hunt. 
After weeks of stalking, the hunt for Lo Long took its toll on Kanyete's health. He died of a heart attack several days before the crocodile was captured. Imagine being named after someone who died trying to kidnap you. Bit weird, but whatever. Who am I to judge? My son's name is 2138474. Lo Long died in captivity at around 8 p.m. on February 10th, 2013 from pneumonia and cardiac arrest. If you saw a 20-foot crocodile, would you appreciate it like Attenborough or Irwin, or would you run in fear like Hook? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!